Hi guys, it's Tim here for another online teaching lesson. This time I'm gonna show you a little bit more detail about multi-camera views, and this is using software called ManyCam. So I've got a Zoom window open here, uh, and the first thing I'm actually gonna do is set it up so that I can show my screen of my iPad to my students. So let me uh, turn on the iPad. I've got four score open, which is the uh, score app that I use for iPad. And then I'm gonna go down to share, and this time I'm, I'm, not, I'm gonna try it without a cable, so we'll go and see how we go. So we're gonna do iPad via AirPlay, and we'll go to share. So it says a plugin is required, so let's install that. And it says here what you need to do on your iPhone or iPad. So you need to make sure you're connected to the right network, select AirPlay, which I think is in screen mirroring here. So for those of you who are a little bit unsure, so this is uh, what's popped up. So this is in the screen mirroring setting from the top right when you drag down. And you can see now it says Zoom, Tim's MacBook Pro. So I'm gonna click on that one. We should be able to share this screen with our students. So our student would now be seeing that full screen and we could obviously zoom in, we can mark, annotate, this is the bit that we're working on or whatever it is. To get back out of screen share, then you can simply go to stop share and you'll be back to your main camera view. So that's just a quick one about how to connect the iPad. So there's one extra connection that we've got. Now let's go over to ManyCam. ManyCam is great software if you want to broadcast multiple views at the same time. It's actually kind of broadcasting software really. It's quite can be quite complex, but if you're ready for that next level of challenge, then it's a good one to go with. So I've simply plugged in my main webcam and as you can see, it's the same thing as what Zoom is seeing. But the great thing about this is that you can connect other devices wirelessly and you can bring them both up on screen at the same time. So let's try doing that with my iPhone. Uh, I'm gonna go down here to, so these boxes down the bottom are what, we, what they call presets. So if you are broadcasting, uh, you could move between these different styles of screen space uh, and, and the camera views that you want. So that's why they're called presets. Trans just means do a fade transition to the next one or cut just means cut to the next one. So if I click here, it brings up the options of where you wanna get that next camera feed from. So for me, I'm gonna to go to mobile app and you need to have already connected the devices. And it's really easy to do that. You just download the Minicam app onto whatever device you wanna connect and log in with your Minicam account details. So I've already connected this. I'm gonna connect it again by going to Tim's iPhone. And then that, uh, it's now brought up a little message here saying Minicam wants to connect with you. So I'm gonna click that and go yes, allow. And we should have then, uh, a view from this camera. So I can see it down here. And if I go to trans, trans, we'll be able, able to, to see, see the view from, the view from this, camera. this camera. And we're also and getting, also getting a microphone. So I'm just gonna mute that microphone, otherwise things are gonna get very, very complex. So I could put this up here in my stand and that could be my overhead camera shot. So you can now see that I could have uh, my full screen here. And if I wanted to, I could add a split screen. So how do you do that? We'll go to up here to presets. And you can see here, there's some various preset modes. So you could do a picture in picture mode. You could do four different cameras side by side. You could split the screen above and below. So let's go above and below for now. And I'm just gonna go create. And you'll see that new layer will have been added here as number six. So now I just go and tell it what camera to put where. We'll go to HD Pro webcam, that's the one you can see. And then down here, we could go with the mobile app and go to the iPhone, connect that. So the orientation is wrong of the keyboard, so we'll need to just flip that around, maybe a bit more like that. And we could make this lower if I wanted to bring in the keyboard a bit, but we can also uh, should be able to drag this. Oh yeah, it's a bit small though, isn't it? So what we could do on the camera up here is do a zoom in like that. It's not too bad, but you can get the idea that with a bit of tweaking, you would be able to get that working pretty well. You could even have them see what's going on on the screen almost in front of them. So you've got the side picture here. Uh, and you can still screen share to the iPad. All right, so now we've got our split screen set up. How do we bring that into Zoom? Well, once you've loaded ManyCam, 
and you may need to do a system restart. You'll certainly need to restart Zoom. It should show up as another camera here. Just as you're selecting your overhead webcam or whatever you've got, you can now see Minicam virtual webcam here. So that's how you get a, a split screen view in Zoom for your music lessons. So I hope that's been helpful. Uh, let me know if you've got any questions and I look forward to hearing how your lessons are going. Leave any comments you have uh, below. See you soon. Hey, just before you go, make sure you click here to subscribe and we've got thousands of other videos all on the topic of music education and teaching. So make sure you check out some of those other ones here. And I'll see you in the next video.